Praise God. Hello, beloved church family. Glory to God. What another beautiful, blessed day. Amen. Praise Lord Jesus Christ for this brand new season. Hallelujah. Rejoice. Amen. For those of you who are wondering, where is Brother Joey at right now? Well, for those of you who are planted here at Open Arms Community Church, we're just in our foyer, but behind me is our uh, beloved sanctuary. Praise God. And Holy Spirit just wanted to, to move around and pray for me because, as you know, it's, it's uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable when you, when you break out of something that, you know, that you know what you're doing and, and uh, let's just say you just get, uh, get comfortable, right? And I pray that, that just that word right there just uh, ministers to someone right now that it, it's, it's, it's difficult in the transition when there is no trust in the Lord. Amen. It's difficult because there's no trust. But when you trust in Lord Jesus Christ and you know, amen, you just know who God is. Hallelujah. You know that he is a good father. Glory to God. Listen, we were just blessed. Amen. With Holy Spirit's fresh anointing of this, this past Father's Day message. Glory to God. And Pastor John just poured it all out. Hallelujah. As an obedient son, he poured it all out. Our pastor just poured it all out, speaking of the goodness of his earthly father. Hallelujah. But yet giving all the glory to our heavenly father. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that all of us, hallelujah, are receptive as far as in what Lord Jesus Christ has done for us. Amen. As the only perfect beloved son of God who took it all on that cross for us, for you and for me. Amen. And glory to God, when we have this exchange with Lord Jesus Christ, right? When we come to the cross and we know, Lord Jesus, I give it all to you. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you love me. I thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, that you died for me. And glory to God, it's in that transaction. Amen. It's in that, say it with me, redemption. Hallelujah, redemption. It's in this redemption that God has made. Amen. See, God gave Lord Jesus Christ so that he can have you. Amen. He can have you. That he can be your father. Amen. He's my father. Hallelujah. And I'm just so thankful. Amen. I think right there, let's just give God praise. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is head over heels in love with you. Praise God. I believe and speak with all my heart a fresh anointing over your life. That right now, as, 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 as you just watch this, or maybe you're just listening to it, whatever it is, God knows, amen? And we don't limit God. Hallelujah. He is God Almighty. We don't limit Him. God knows your heart right now. I speak in Jesus' name that Holy Spirit blesses you with a fresh anointing on this glorious day. Amen? Hallelujah. Praise God. Before we get into the Word, which we're going to be in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, for those of you who have your Bibles and you're ready to get into the written word with me. Before I get into the word, let's pray. Pray for me. Hallelujah. I'm just so thankful. Amen. I am just so thankful like you that Father God is coming back for us soon. That he chose us as the holy generation. He chose us. Amen. And that he's coming back really soon. Amen. Do you believe that with me? Praise God. I know you do. Praise God. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for Lord Jesus Christ. Your perfect son, your beloved, your perfect sacrifice, Father. Thank you so much, Father God, that you laid it all down. You laid it all down at the cross, Father. You said, here I am. You could either take it or leave it. And Father God, I am so thankful, Father, that you did that for all of your beloved children. You did it for the whole world, Father, because you love every soul. And Heavenly Father, I am so thankful that because of you, Lord Jesus Christ, that all we had to do is just call on your name, Lord Jesus, to trust in you, Lord Jesus Christ, and to bless you, Holy Spirit, for all of eternity. So Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, in your name, Holy Spirit, we bless you, we thank you. Holy Spirit, we say it all the time. In your church, Open Arms Community Church, we are your body, Lord Jesus Christ. One in you, unified in your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we say it all the time. You are our teacher. That, Father God, you are worshipped and glorified. That you have all the glory. We don't touch it, Father God. 
I am so thankful, Father God, that I am one in a, in a pastor that you have blessed us with, Father God, and Pastor John. That I am one in all the leadership and all the elders, in all the deacons, that I am one with all the congregation. We are your body. And Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you that it's in your mighty holy name that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. That your presence keeps flowing, Father God. Just keeps on flowing, Father. And Heavenly Father, we just want all of you, and it's in Jesus Christ's name, and all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Rejoice. Rejoice. Amen. Give somebody a high five. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you're by yourself, give yourself a high five. Amen. And never forget the angels. Hallelujah. The angels love a high five. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. All his angels are around us, beloved church. I see angels. Praise God. I pray you do. If you don't, ask God. Father, I want to see your angels. Amen. And God will show you. Hallelujah. And his presence is all around us. Amen. Listen, when we say with all our hearts, when we believe it and we speak it, that Jesus Christ is Lord, you spoke from the Holy of Holies. From everything within you, you spoke and you said, I confess that Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Savior. I confess, I believe, I speak and say, Jesus Christ, you are Lord and Savior. See, right there at that very moment that the enemy cannot touch for all of eternity, you have declared through your affirmation that Jesus Christ, I am yours. You are mine. Amen? Say that with me. I am yours. Hallelujah. Ooh, hallelujah. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, let's get right into the word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Say amen. Now, we got to remember when we say amen, it's real sad to me, and I have to say this because Holy Spirit said, just cut the get enemy's head off. Just cut off all the devil's heads. Praise God. It's real sad when someone doesn't want to say amen, either because of religious reasons or insecurities or just being prideful. I don't need to say it. The great amen, his name is, hallelujah, right, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. He is the great amen. Hallelujah. He is the I am. He is the Alpha and Omega. Amen. So hear my heart when I say this to you as a brother, as a pastor, amen, as a beloved child of God. When I ask you to say amen, I am charging you in Jesus' name and Holy Spirit in you is going to speak the blessing when you just say amen. Hallelujah. I believe with all my heart there's some of us that needs to break through and get out of being religious, get out of being prideful, know it all, right? Conceited, snobby, haughty spirit, whatever, the, whatever it is that is causing you to judge, cast judgment, be critical, grumble, complain, opinionated, right? Listen, I, I understand. I know. I know. God blessed us with free will. Listen, I understand. I know. You have every right to be who you want to be, do what you want to do. But all I'm asking you right now, hallelujah, as a beloved child of God, Will you just lay everything down at the altar and submit? We only submit, hallelujah, to Lord Jesus Christ. And it's in that complete submission, this word is called salvation, right? How are you saved? You have to admit, I need to be saved, right? How are you recovered? You need to admit, I'm lost, right? The only way you can be found is admitting, confessing, right? Believing and speaking that, God, I need you, amen? Can you say that with me? God, I need you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So I pray, I pray that you, that, that you have ears to hear that the scales come off. Amen. And listen, I know that I'm not talking to everybody, but Holy Spirit said it so sternly to address this right now. Because when you become critical or judgmental or you start to harbor darkness within you, Pastor John said it this past Sunday on Father's Day. There is consequences to sin. That when you actually allow that and you think that you're actually glorifying God in being judgmental, in being critical, in being racist. Yeah, I said it. In being, in being whatever. 
that you think that you're allowed to make that stand, that it's your right, I challenge you right now in Jesus Christ's name. Is Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior? Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I belong to God, the Most High God, amen? He's Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He is agape, amen? God lives in me and through me, in you and through you. If you have Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, and his name is Holy Spirit. So last time I checked, not only in the written word of God, but in just a relationship with God Almighty, did I not submit and lay down everything at the feet of Lord Jesus Christ? Did I not say, Lord Jesus Christ, you are my Lord, my master, you are my savior. I am now your property. I am now your child. It's no longer my right or my opinion. It's no longer about me being right. It's no longer about me defending myself. It's all about telling everybody how much you love the Father, how much you love us. How love, Holy Spirit lives now on the inside. Amen. And I pray in Jesus' name that we take hold of that. Remember, to take hold, to stand firmly. Amen. To stand firmly in our God-purchased identity. That we are no longer that little child that was abused. Right? We are no longer that person that was abused. We are no longer that addict. We are no longer that divorcee, we are no longer that widow, we are no longer whatever it is, we are no longer because we have Jesus Christ as Lord and God is a good and perfect Father, amen and that he lives on the inside now through you and through me, through his Holy Spirit, amen I speak this warning because Holy Spirit wants to sum this up and say for all those in these past however many years Holy Spirit just brought it to my remembrance to the forefront of my mind Everyone that grumbles and complains and, and, and thinks that they're actually blessing God in speaking bad about speaking death about or just being straight up judgmental and critical and, 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 and just snobby. They fall away. They fall away. And this is a warning to Open Arms Community Church. That we are going to stay grounded and rooted in Lord Jesus Christ. And that we're going to continue just being thankful. Hallelujah. Being thankful. Amen. And when we're thankful, hallelujah, Holy Spirit is so happy in you and in me. Because Holy Spirit says, my church. Amen. My body. And all we're going to do is rejoice. We're not going to talk bad about them. We're not going to judge one another. We're not. We're going to lay it all down at the feet of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. For those who fall away, they fall away. You pray for them. Amen? That's what we do. We pray for them. Amen? That's all we can do. We can pray for them. Because guess what? Last time I checked, we can't save nobody. Only Lord Jesus Christ can. Amen? And I pray in Jesus' name that you receive that. That you're not going to go down a season. A season of consequences. Amen? The se a season of Oh my goodness, regret and shame and insult, right? See, Lord Jesus has nothing to do with that. Lord Jesus Christ is all about forgiveness. Amen. Mercy. Hallelujah. Grace. Amen. Blessings. Hallelujah. Relationship. Amen. Hallelujah. Peace. Glory to God. And that's what we're going to get into tonight. Amen. Are you ready? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Say it with me. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we're going to start in verse 1, amen, and praise God, we got a lot to go through, amen, we're going to stay in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and uh, we'll break away, we'll go in and out, that's what Holy Spirit's telling me right now, we're going to go in and out, and I just love as far as when we start off this way, who is the way, the truth, the life, amen, Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he is our Lord and our Savior, amen, chapter 4, verse 1, therefore, it's therefore a reason, amen? Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, amen, say with me, this ministry, we don't lose heart, rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways, we do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. 
On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, let's pause there momentarily. Even if the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, even if the gospel of Holy Spirit, of agape, the gospel of God, the good news of Father God, amen? Who is his good news? Amen, Lord Jesus Christ, amen? Isn't it beautiful of the word of God? And so the word of God became flesh. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. And Lord Jesus Christ manifested on this earth and he shared another gospel and this gospel is the gospel of peace. And this peace only comes through his perfect sacrifice, hallelujah, through Lord Jesus Christ. And on that glorious third day, the glory of God was manifested in that resurrection power of Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, who is the gospel of peace, amen? And so I love this because here Apostle Paul is writing to the church in Corinth. And you got to keep in mind as far as there was a lot of things taking place in this church. Amen. And what the Apostle Paul was, was rebuking and putting back in order, say that with me, in order, is that he's putting a check in all these people that are starting to get religious again with God and it's actual blasphemy because what they're trying to do is mix the old and the new. They're trying to mix the two. And they're trying to come up with their own religion now. And here Apostle Paul is saying, listen, let's get back... Let's get back to the, the nitty gritty. Let's get back to the foundation, our rock, our cornerstone. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And this is who we are giving all the glory, honor, and praise to, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And so he says this. He says, and even if our gospel is covered, is veiled, it is veiled to those who are dying. It is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel, the glory of Christ, who is the light of Lord Jesus Christ that lives in you and in me. Amen. His name is Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And so right away, God is already speaking and telling us, listen, in this day and age right now, there are those who completely blindfolded themselves, put a veil, they're blinded. Because they don't, want to do, they don't want to have anything to do with the relationship with God through Lord Jesus Christ. And that is Holy Spirit in you and in me. They don't want to have anything to do with that. So God is saying they're blinded. They don't see the light because they completely blinded themselves through pride. They cannot see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Who is the image of God. That was verse 4. For we do not preach ourselves. We don't. Pastor, myself, leadership, anybody, anybody, hallelujah, anyone, hallelujah, in Open Arms Community Church that has shared the word of God through their testimony, amen, through the power of their testimony. Because the testimony is, hallelujah, you beat me to it, Lord Jesus Christ, amen, the power of the word of God who is Lord Jesus Christ, amen? The power of his light that shines in Holy Spirit. And, and then it says here in verse five, we're gonna repeat that. We do not preach ourselves, right? Listen, we don't touch God's glory, amen? It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about Lord Jesus Christ, amen? You see, there's many of us that get caught up in seasons right now where well, God, what are you doing in my life? God, what are you doing? God, I've been praying for this. I've been asking for this. See, this is the moment right now where Holy Spirit is asking us, will you break away from that? Right? Will you sacrifice that blessing? Will you just get rid of it? It's hard to hear this message, but I'm going to tell you right now, once you're able to let go of all the wants and needs and focus on the need that is met for eternity. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. When you get rid of all these distractions, because I confess to you, it's easy to get distracted on not having enough money. It's easy to get distracted on not feeling well. It's easy to get distracted on, look at how my child is acting. 
But God is asking right now, whose child is it really? Hallelujah. You have Jesus Christ as Lord, you've already experienced the redemption. You've already experienced salvation. You're saved. Well, pastor, what am I saved from? From this very moment, right now. Hallelujah. The waves are coming. You feel like you're sinking. You feel like anxiety, depression, worry. You feel like, but all God is saying, call out to me. Amen. Call out to me, Lord Jesus Christ. And he is the only one faithful to save. Amen. Amen. Verse 6, for God who said, let light shine out of darkness, that's us now, amen, say it with me, that's me, praise God, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Amen, may I say that again? To give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. You see, God has deposited his glory in you and in me. And how did that glory take place? I take you back to that glorious day when you called on his holy name, Lord Jesus Christ. And when you called on him, you made him Lord and Savior. His light is in you for all of eternity. Amen? Hallelujah. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed, say it with me, in our body. Say it again, in our body. We have to repeat that, praise God, and I don't know if we're going to move any forward in what Holy Spirit's telling me right now and speaking to us about. We are hard-pressed on every side. Distractions, right? But not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. Verse 10. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So for this past, oh my goodness, I don't even know the time and I'm not going to even want to say it because that's just the way it is. Holy Spirit has been ministering, teaching us, revealing and exposing to us not only the plots of the enemy, but the importance of us knowing the perfection of agape. Amen. Who is agape? <laughs> Hallelujah. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. He is God Almighty. Amen. Listen, beloved church family, this is extremely important. Extremely important. Because the way this world is, is it wants to break up the Godhead. The way this world is, it wants to put confusion in every situation. That's who the devil is. Confusion. See, many people think that the devil has a plan. He doesn't. The devil is not God. He, he may be the God of this world, but he doesn't have a plan. What is the difference from a plan versus a plot? A plan is something that you can actually go before and set things up for a plan to manifest, right? A plot is, at the very moment, throwing out distractions, hoping that this result will take place through all the distractions being thrown, right? If you were following me right now, right? If you were following me, praise God, I can tell you I have a plan, follow me. Hmm. Follow me. Right? That's simple. There's a plan. Amen? A plot is, I want you to go that way, but you're going that way, so all I keep doing is throwing things at you, throwing things at you, right? So that hopefully it could hurt enough where you go, will you stop? And I'll just keep throwing things 
at you so that hopefully you would say, I told you to stop. And guess what? I'll start running that direction, hoping that you will go chase me. That's a plot. God has the divine plan over a beloved child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ already did it. Well, pastor, explain. Let me ask you something. When Lord Jesus Christ was hanging on that cross, were you alive back then that you know of? <laughs> Say it with me, Alpha and Omega. Have complete reverence in your heart and in your mind when you say those words. Because you're saying, I am. You see, when Lord Jesus Christ said, forgive them, he wasn't just speaking in that time frame. It's for all of eternity. And see, God has a plan for your life, for my life. And all God is asking, will you trust in my perfect beloved son, Lord Jesus Christ. Because if you do, when you do, Holy Spirit now, hallelujah. Say his name, Holy Spirit, hallelujah. Holy Spirit will bless you with life-changing revelation in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God, hallelujah. Say it with me, God has a plan for my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's continue on. Praise God. Verse 11. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal bodies. So then death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're going to go ahead and stop right there. Praise God. We're going to stop right there. Holy Spirit says so. We're just going to be obedient. Amen. As a beloved child of God, you carry in your body. Say it with me. I am the body of Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, you are. We are all members of the body of God. Amen. And in us, say it with me, us, in us, we carry the death of Lord Jesus Christ. Well, pastor, explain. How do I carry the death of Lord Jesus Christ? This means that no matter what you go through in this life, remember the plots of the enemy, right? Remember how he wants to try to throw things. Those are the darts, right? Those are the fiery darts of the evil one. He likes to try to throw things, right? The moment that we feel something that touched us, something that said something to us, maybe something pulled on our emotional strings, maybe something just completely took our legs right out from under us, whatever it is, right? God has given us the ability to carry the death of Lord Jesus Christ where we say, Father, this hurt me. And in the past, it would take me down a road. And Father, I'm thankful that Lord Jesus Christ, you are victorious over this thing. That you put this on your body. And that because of you, Lord Jesus Christ, I am never alone. Holy Spirit, I bless you. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your fellowship. You are my God, and I worship you, and I thank you right now for your peace. Thank you, Father, that I could feel you rebuking all the plots of the enemy. For I am yours, and I am not going down that road in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, when we carry the death, remember, sacrifice, amen? When we carry the sacrifice, what does God promise? Hallelujah. Look at the gospel of peace, amen? God promises a child of God that when we sacrifice and crucify our thoughts, this flesh, amen? Right? Say it with me. I am an eternal soul in Father God. Say it with me. I am the body of of Lord Jesus Christ. Say it with me. I am the temple of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You could see why, as, as, as God exposes, you could see why the enemy wants to continuously distract and come against agape. Right? 
Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We are made in God's image. Amen. Hallelujah. We have a soul. Hallelujah. We live in this body. Amen. We are the temple of Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God praise. Hallelujah. And I just, I, I just love, we'll go, we'll go to verse 11 real quick and then we're going to close. Praise God. For we are alive, always being given over to death for Jesus' sake. For whose sake? Say his name. Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's his ultimate sacrifice. That the victory is ours. Amen. That we are not a part of this world. We're not of it. We're not. We're just here momentarily. Why are we here momentarily? To be the light of God. To show this fallen world there's a God. He is our Father. And He loves you. But I don't believe that. I understand. Because the enemy has lied, deceived, stole, killed, destroyed from you. But I'm going to tell you, there's this man, a perfect man. His name is Lord Jesus Christ. He was sent from heaven as God's only perfect son, born of the Virgin Mary. Holy Spirit conceived him here in this earth so that Holy Spirit could live through a perfect vessel. And Holy Spirit did everything through Christ our Lord to the point of taking everything on that cross for you and me. This is how much God loves you. Well, I've always been taught that Lord Jesus Christ is mad at me. That God is mad at me because of all the things I've done wrong. Once again, God's not mad at you. Why would Lord Jesus Christ come and die for you? He don't judge you. He's just asking, will you open up your heart and receive him? Will you open yourself to just call on his name? Can I pray for you? Listen, I was there. I did worse things than, than you could even imagine. But I'm thankful that I have the blood of God and not the blood of man. Amen? And it's in this, it's in this transaction that as we show the light of agape, Holy Spirit will do the work. Because remember, when we just speak life and speak blessings, Holy Spirit is the one who is listening. Amen, beloved church family? Holy Spirit is the one. Where does Holy Spirit live? Amen. In you, in me, you have to have Jesus Christ as Lord. Amen. Listen, I, I, I will be raptured out of here saying this, and it's never going to change. Pastor and I, we're one. We're never going to change this message because it is the written word of God, and it is who God is, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That when you speak life, Holy Spirit is the one who's listening. God spoke this world into ex existence. Amen. God spoke Lord Jesus, and who was listening? Who was hovering over the darkness? Who was, right? Holy Spirit. And the same applies right now, 2020. My goodness, half the year gone, done gone by, amen? Look, he's just flying by. Church family, I, I beg you, reach out to your family. Reach out to our beloved community of Lebanon, Kentucky, and all the surrounding communities, amen? Hallelujah. We are chosen by God. We are anointed all because of Lord Jesus Christ. And I beg you, reach out to family and friends. Amen. Tell them you love them. Praise God. Just call them. You don't need a you don't need a bump. You, you don't need a Bible thump them or bump them over the head with a with the Bible and say repent and all that stuff. No, that's not what it's about. It's about just telling somebody that you love them and that we serve a God, a good and perfect Father, a God that loves us. And the God that wants to heal our land and bless us. But guess what? We have to want to have a relationship. You see, the beauty about our Heavenly Father is He has nothing to prove. Our Father God has nothing to prove to anybody. You know why? Lord Jesus Christ said everything that needs to be said. And the beauty is when you trust in that final word, hallelujah, his name is Lord Jesus Christ. When you trust in the final word of God, yes, he is the final word. When you trust in that word, now the living word is in you. And glory to God, he will live through you in abundance. Amen? In abundance. 
more abundantly in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that this word from Holy Spirit blesses you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ. I am so thankful for you, beloved church family. I am so thankful that you could just feel the presence of Holy Spirit. Amen. We had such a powerful Father's Day worship service. I pray in Jesus' name that we don't need a holiday. We don't need a special day to do anything to bless our Lord, our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's be thankful for all things because that is where the power resides in a beloved child of God. Just being thankful. Rejoice. Amen. Rejoice. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't be so serious. Amen. Don't be so serious. I mean it. I mean it. Just be a child and just love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Be a little child, like Pastor John said on Sunday. Like many of you are blessed with, with children, praise God. In their innocence, in their transparency, they'll let you know what's up. <laughs> Amen? They'll let you know. They, they don't sugarcoat nothing. Praise God. Isn't that beautiful of our Heavenly Father? That's all He wants in us as His children. Amen? So I'll pray. I'll pray a fresh anointing over your life, over your house, because it's God's house. Amen? Now we come to God as little children. Amen? Just rejoicing, full of joy. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen? I just want to say thank you again for your faithfulness, once again, in your giving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that in this new season that God just floods you with seeds to sow. Amen. And for those of you who, who, who are questioning how to give or, or you know, don't know how, praise God. Go to oacchurch.com and there there's an offering tab. And you can give electronically and it is secure. Praise God. And once again, we just have to be obedient. Amen. We have to be obedient. Give to God what is God's. This is what I love about a beloved child of God in Christ. Say that with me, in Christ. Did God only give 10% on that cross? God gave. Amen. For those of you who don't know, when we do this, that's everything. That's beyond everything. Eternity. God gave it right there on the cross. You cannot outgive God, amen? And for those of you who don't have anything to give, we're going to pray and God is going to bless you with seed to sow. Now remember, God is going to bless you with breakthrough, a new season. Hallelujah. God's going to prosper you and bless your finances, your business. God's going to bless you and take you. Hear me now. Holy Spirit says you are accountable because he's going to bless you with seed to sow back into his kingdom. Amen. And I pray in the Lord Jesus Christ that you bless God with your offering. Amen. And bless God with your best offering. Hallelujah. I challenge you to do that. Bless God with your best offering. Amen. And praise God. If you don't want to do it online, praise God. There's opportunities. Sunday worship service and Sunday mornings. We don't collect because we just want to be obedient. Amen. To what God put in order. And we're so thankful. And uh, we, we can collect your offering that way as well. Praise God. I just want to say thank you so much for your heart of worship. For blessing God with your offering. Above all, just blessing him with your worship and being intimate with Lord Jesus Christ. Say that word with me, intimate. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word, Father God. We thank you. We thank you so much, Lord Jesus, that you are the word of God. And that you said everything that needed to be said. And that Holy Spirit now that you are the living word that's alive in us. We're so thankful. Father you have all the glory and honor and praise. Father we bless you. We just want to say thank you Father God for all that you are doing and continue to do. We thank you Father God that your eternal light. That Father God you your beloved perfect son Lord Jesus Christ. And your Holy Spirit. That your agape light is shining through us for all of eternity, Father. And that all your angels are charged around us in the mighty name of Lord Jesus. And Father God, I thank you right now that you bless all the seeds that are sown here in your holy church. In Open Arms Community Church, Father. 
I speak an abundance, hundredfold, Father God, over them. And Father, those who cannot give, Father, I thank you. In obedience, I spoke your blessing, Father, that you will give them a new season, a new blessing, seeds to sow, Father. And Heavenly Father, I thank you that in a relationship with you, Father God, you hold us accountable through Christ our Lord. So Holy Spirit, I thank you right now for your fresh anointing, your wisdom. And I thank you, Father, above all, for your presence that's overflowing, Father. Thank you, Father God, for rebuking the wolves. Thank you, Father God, for your sword that is released in the atmosphere, for cutting every demonic head off, Father God. And I thank you so much, Father God, right now, for all your angels that are around us, Father God. And we lift up, Father God, our law enforcement and all the people right now, Father God, that are working in the hospitals. And we lift them all up, Father, and we plead your holy blood over them. And we thank you, Father, that your angels are fighting for us continuously. And it's in Jesus Christ's name. And all God's beloved said, Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is good. All the time. It just keeps getting gooder and gooder in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, beloved church family. Thank you so much for blessing God the way you do. And thank you so much for just having this expectation. Amen. That we're getting raptured out of here soon. Praise God. Listen, it's time. It's time to start reaching out to people and saying, come on. Come on. Let's get ready. Amen. Praise God. Love you, beloved church family. God bless you. I'll see you in the next half an hour. Amen. Love you guys. Mwah.